Hello everybody, I'm back here again for another vlog a day, and today is Monday, no, Friday. I don't know how the hell I got Monday out of there. Friday the 3rd of May, and the weather is insanely crazy. We got a ton of snow overnight. It's absolutely ridiculous. I got no idea what's going on with our weather system. It's very rare we get any type of snow this late in the year, but it's happening. Um, I'm going to get out and check on the... Um, robin's nest i have out back there i'm hoping it's doing all right still i don't know it's hard telling i'm more concerned every year they get killed by um stray cats in the neighborhood which i can't catch in the trap or other birds come in and kill their babies and throw their eggs out and that kind of deal so that right there is kind of sucks i'm kind of not wanting to go check because i'm really hoping that the bird nest holds out but same time that's nature and that's how it goes i guess so Pretty much just trying to stay warm in that. I was hoping to get outside and do a little running. I've got my new GPS watch that I'm not able to even try out yet because I don't have a foot pod for it. They're like 45 bucks, I think. And it'll let me use it on a treadmill. Otherwise, I'd be actually outside running. And with it being cold and wet and snowy and that, I'm not going to go out and risk it. So we'll see what happens, I guess. Uh, hopefully, it's going to. They're calling for rain the next like 10 days with a possibility of next Monday being um, a little bit less, like. It's going to have a chance of not raining, but other than that, we got rain in the forecast for the next 10 days. So, and a high of like 62, lows in the 30s. So, definitely um, not feeling much like spring right now. So, other than that, don't really know of a lot going on. Just kind of trying to get myself um, in to see a doctor to get my toes looked at, to possibly get my toenails cut off from all the running. And the one doctor that I found that I think might be able to help me, because the other ones I talked to, the one I went to before, her answer with any sports injury was just, well, just stop running. And I decided getting advice about exercise injuries from a fat, lazy doctor is not a very good process to do. So I'm trying to find a new doctor. Unfortunately, the one in town, she also is a runner. Um, she's busy enough that she's got such demand that she's actually kind of interviewing they're overlooking their records, that kind of stuff, if they want to take you on as a patient or not. So it's kind of a weird feeling. I feel like I want to go in and drop off like some cookies or that kind of stuff and tell them, hey, I pay cash for my copays and I'm always on time and I'm, you know, never going to call you up five minutes before my appointment and say, oh, I'm running 20 minutes late. I'll be there in a little bit, that kind of thing. So definitely it's kind of odd to have to try and recruit yourself to get a doctor, but if she's good and that's what I got to do, I'm going to do whatever I got to do. So. I've only been to the doctor a couple times, ankle injury and that, when I was kind of going crazy when my wife told me she was leaving, the whole stress and that of that. Other than that, I've only been to see the doctor back when I had my motorcycle wreck, and that's, we're talking, that's like in 10 years I've seen, minus the motorcycle wreck and those two appointments, that's the only doctor I've seen. So, anyway, just trying to get in and find somebody that'll help me. So, I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Have yourself a safe and wonderful day. Thanks for watching.